Um, it's actually super frustrating to see that clip of Janelle Monet being misgendered as it's something I think that happens a lot to black femmes who identify as non-binary but don't present to the world as non-binary and there is no <clears throat> there is no way to look non-binary but there is an agreement um in our in our I want to say hemisphere I don't know why but go with me our hemisphere that that there is a way to look non-binary and it's not like me or Janelle Monet. So what is it like to be a black woman? That that's that question is coming from how we are gendered and how we are seen in the world, but also like how we don't actually get to be any other gender but a woman. Right? It's not possible that we could also be non-binary because for me I feel like Janelle Monet came out when Janelle Monet came out as non-binary, I feel like there wasn't even that much press about it. I definitely believe that a white person, white celebrity um, that comes out as non-binary or trans got gets way more press um, and is there's way more excitement around it. Um, and I think that has to do with creating spicy whites um, <laughs> and relating to black people like we're already non-human um that we already are variant that we're already weird unique strange bizarre do not fit in any box that if we come out as non-binary or trans then it's like wait wait what am i what am i doing with this like i don't the world just does not know how to react to black people expressing themselves beyond the constraints that the world has placed on us this also has a lot to do this also has a lot to do with how Janelle Monet presents and being femme is erased in so many ways um, but in particular with being non-binary people think that that's only supposed to look a certain way if Janelle Monet was wearing a suit um, I'm not sure that you know she still would have gotten that question I think maybe that person would have remembered that Janelle Monet came out as non-binary and I think you know that has a lot to do with even masculinity being seen as valid um and also being a like a, almost like a tabula rasa that you get to be whatever you want inside of these dominant um gender expressions i hope y'all are following me with this um yeah <laughs> conclusion um it's f that anybody um gets misgendered and i think we need to be way more mindful when we are you know interviewing people if that's the case or talking to people um and gender comes up that we check in um about gender and not make assumptions um about someone's gender based on how they look because that's usually where those assumptions come from and that brings me to anti-trans legislation having everything to do with controlling the behavior of white people and not so much black people even though black people will be the most um harmed in with any of this legislation passing this legislation has everything to do with controlling white people's bodies so that they remain dominant and remain in positions of power through the use and the violence of the gender binary